Hey, what's up guys? This is your race pace coach and today we will go over splits as target times. Um, before we go over this, don't forget to check out my race pace 101 course on Teachable. It's in the description link below. Okay, so splits as target times. So the reason why I use splits as target times is because it accurately represents the swimmers target times for their race pace sets okay so again when i do 100 race pace it's their second 50 split um the 200 race pace is the third and fourth 50 split averaged and the 50 race pace is the swimmers fastest split and uh, um, sorry it's the fast the, the swimmers fastest time for their 50s and if they're older kids and they can't swim 50s you know you can use the the first 50 of their 100 as their f fastest times it's just the time that you have down um in the spreadsheet okay um so that you can show the swimmers what's their fastest 50 because you know the older swimmers they don't have the 50 event so they can't swim that all right and then let's move on to the 500 race pace which i take i average the second half of the 100 splits and that's how i get my target time for the 500 and then it would be the same for the 1000 and the 1650 or the 800 and the 1500 you know you look at the last half of the last the last half of the hundreds of the race so like if you have the 800 you look at the last 400 all the 100 times of the last 400 of the 800 and then you average your time out and that's how you get your target time for those distance events okay so the reason why i again i use um their splits is you know it just it, sh it it makes it when when they're swimming it at practice you know they're able to make their target time when they're doing their 50s in a row you know when when i was um doing divided times okay when i was dividing the swimmers goal times or their swimmers best times you know say like a swimmer goes one minute for a hundred freestyle and I would divide that time by four or two. If, if I'm doing 50s, I'd divide by two. If I was doing 25s, I would divide it by four. And the reason why I did that, I, I did that for like the first year of starting race pace training. Um, I did that because um, of because I was looking through the USRPT documentation and when I tried it out with my swimmers, you know, they were really struggling with achieving that target time because, um, you know, the it was just too fast for the swimmer, okay? Um, because it wasn't calculating their dive start time and the distance that they're traveling through the, um, as they're doing the dive start into the water, okay? It doesn't calculate that speed. It doesn't calculate that time into the target time when you divide it so that's why I stopped using it and switched over to splits uh, using splits as a target time because the second 50 the second 50s for the hundreds and the average of the third and fourth 50 for the 200s you know they're calculating the push-off time and most of the times at practice when the swimmers are making the inner rolls they're pushing off the wall and not doing the dive start okay so the push off start right here um so again it wasn't fact the target time dividing the target time wasn't factoring in the um the dividing the target time was fact was factoring in the dive start and you know when you do that and you do a push off start off the inner rolls you know they're not going to be able to make it they're not going to be able to make their um their the reps in a row and then they're going to just start start missing a lot and not being able to, able to um make the whole set and then they're ending the set early and then when they go to the swim meet this is for my observation of doing a year of race pace divine times so when they're at the swim meet they're 
not able to I could see that their race pace endurance was not they they weren't really able to last towards the end of their races and then they were improving but the re I from my observation the results from doing using splits as target times versus dividing target times you know the splits swimmers that were when we switched when we switched over to doing using splits the swimmers were improving a lot better they were or if they weren't improving they were staying around the same time okay but when we were at using the dividing target time they were improving and then but most of the times they were like one or two a few seconds off from their fastest times instead of staying at the same time okay so the, these are the reasons why I use splits as target times. Um, if you like this video, um, please l hit the like button and share and subscribe. Um, if you're interested in other things that I offer, it's in the description link below. And thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.